The double cork 1260 to the left. Does he have the right side variation to finish off this run? He does. David Wise, a huge run when it matters most. Yeah, what I had to face this time around in the Olympic qualification process is the fact that I actually might not make the team. Like, I had to really be honest with myself and say, you're actually on the bubble, meaning you're in the fourth spot and there are people who could knock you off of that position. And that is like <laughs> so, such an anxious place to be. And I was just like, fighting through that, like not letting myself get dragged into this like negative emotion cycle. But at the same time, I had to be honest, like maybe you're not meant to go to the Olympics this time. Maybe that's not how the story goes. And I had to be okay with that. But the cool thing about once you've accepted the fact that your dreams might not come true, but you still have a chance to, is that you kind of become okay with both, both alter alternatives. It's like, I might not make the Olympic team. And if that's true, then that means God has something better for me. But I still have one chance. And it's one of my favorite half pipes to compete in. It's close to home. I know the hometown crowd is going to be there. So there's hope. The easiest way to get through darkness is hope. It's kind of like when you're taking off in an airplane with overcast skies. You go, you know, it's usually raining when you take off and it's kind of stormy. It's a little turbulent, but you crack through the clouds and it's just gorgeous sunlight everywhere. That's kind of how it felt getting to Mammoth for me this time because through the entire COVID process, my family hasn't been able to come to hardly any of the events. Um, the crowds have been smaller. My support people, like all my friends and family who usually come to the events, they haven't been there. But this time around in Mammoth, my family was there. I was able to see them the night before the competition. Like, actually have that backing again. And it was like a breath of fresh air. It was like, this is a new day. This is a new competition. And I struggled even through practice. But when I laid down that first run and landed my last trick, it was just like all the pressure came off. I was just like, wow. I don't know or care what the judges are going to do with that. But I got my fam sitting right there. I was able to grab Malachi up and have him there with me at the bottom waiting for my score, which is usually one of the most like intense parts of the competition is you like, well, I just laced that run, but I don't know what the judges are going to do with it. It's kind of nerve wracking waiting for your score, but I didn't even care. I was hanging out with Malachi. It was so cool. So, um, yeah, if I could go back and rewrite the story, I wouldn't rewrite it any other way because it was so much cooler for me to qualify for the Olympic team with my family and support crew there than it would have been if I had locked it, locked it down up in Calgary. So, yeah, <laughs> the Calgary aspect of the story sucked. I didn't enjoy that part at all. But the mammoth aspect was amazing. I couldn't believe, like, I really can't believe that's how it played out, and it was so cool. And then to hear after I finished second 
in that contest that, wow, Dave, somehow magically, because it was always, since Aaron and Alex did so well in the, in the first couple of events, they, it was pretty much guaranteed that they were going to get their Olympic spots, which meant me and Burke and Lyman and um, Cass, a bunch of other guys were all fighting for those last two spots, the third and fourth spot. The third spot you could technically qualify for objectively, and then the fourth spot is always a coach's discretion spot. So I just assumed, even if I do well in Mammoth, I'm just going to get the fourth spot. I'm going to get to the coach's discretion spot, and I'm going to get to go to the Olympics. Task complete. That's what I want to do. When I got second, all of a sudden I hit that criteria and got the third spot, meaning I objectively qualified for the team, and I got to do the team naming, which is one of the coolest parts, because they give you a piece of the kit that you get to wear, at the, in the games, and they drag you up on stage, and you know your hometown crowd gets to cheer for you, and they do fireworks, and it's like one of the coolest parts of the experience. And I just wrote that off. I wasn't going to get to do that this time. Oh well, you know, it's just one part of the journey, but it's one part that I wasn't going to get this time. So it was just like, really, I get to do that too? I get to have all of it? Wow, amazing.